three minute guide. Today we're going to take a look at search engines. Now we have all used search engines. Today we're going to take a look at Google and specifically I want to look at the natural or the organic results. When we type into Google make money we find that we get some results. The results show us 126 million pages for this term make money and if I look below into the natural or the organic search results the make money is highlighted here and in the text to show you that those are the results that came. Now there's other results that we get when we do a search and these are advertising. These are actually Google AdWords and people have paid to put these advertisements here and they pay every time you click on them. But what we're interested in today is this section and how do we rank in the natural or organic. So what I want to do today is take a look at how search engines work. There are three parts to the Google search engine and these parts we know at a high level we know how they may work but the algorithms that they use are kept quite secret and only Google knows them and they do change. First we're going to look at the Google bot. The Google bot is also known as a crawler or as a spider and it comes and visits your web page and what it does is it calls a server that requests the pages and downloads them. So like when you open your browser and you type in a URL and the page loads, the Googlebot however is run by numbers of computers and performs this task quite quickly. It doesn't know that a website really exists until either you put it in the ad URL form in Google or Google finds a link to that website on another web page. So here's what happens. When Googlebot visits a page, they take all the links from that page and put them in a queue for crawling and just repeat the process over and over again. And once they find a link, they download the page and then it hands the page over to the indexer. Now what is the indexer? Well, it's nothing more than a huge database. Now this database sorts through all the pages alphabetically looking at all the keywords on the pages. So it really ignores all those small words and it just looks for the keywords. It finds these pages and then it waits. And it waits for the query processor. And the query processor? Well, that's nothing more than you and I sitting at Google typing in a keyword and then getting our results. The query processor simply reports what is given to it by the indexer. So you can see how these three pieces fit together. So how does this relate to you? This relates to you because you need to make sure that you are using keywords that people are searching for and these keywords are a part of your search engine optimization and a part of your overall marketing plan for your website in order to get indexed. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for listening to this three minute guide on search engines.